Here I am in Microsoft Teams, and the section I'm talking about in this video is right here, this add location. As I click that, you see I have two, Nashville and Tampa Bay. I click on Nashville, I see I have two devices, and in Tampa Bay, I have about five. What I'm going to show you is how to add another entry into this list. How do we add the third one? PowerShell, everyone. So if you haven't watched the other videos in the series, I'll just start from scratch here. First thing I'm gonna do is set execution policy. This will let me run scripts such as installing modules, PowerShell modules. I'm going to install the Exchange Online PowerShell module. This is what I'll need to do, uh, have to create these distribution groups. Now that the Exchange Online management module is installed, I'm going to run Connect Exchange Online, and this will then connect my local workstation to Exchange Online. Brings up this sign-in thing. I'll pick one that's cached. If it's not cached, you will have to provide a username and password and hopefully an additional authentication factor. All right, let me clear the screen just to make things a little more uh, a little more visible. All right, the first command I'm going to run is get distribution group to list the existing distribution groups I have. And if you remember from the calendar view, I had two Nashville and Tampa Bay. So I'm gonna create a new one for Indianapolis, my hometown, Indianapolis, Indiana. So there we go, that easy. New distribution group, give it a name, and then type room list. This is letting Exchange know that this is a special distribution group that we're not necessarily going to be sending emails to this group, but treat it as a room list. Let's see if there are any members of this group. There aren't. I did that by using get distribution group member of Indianapolis and return nothing. So let's add this uh, conference room that we've been working with in this series, MTR TVW conference room 03. So add distribution group member to Indianapolis, this member and I'll hit enter and there we go. And now when I run get distribution group member again, it should show one entry. If you wanted to add more rooms to this distribution group, you would just rerun add distribution group member and add the email address or the UPN really of those conference rooms to the command. Now that I've made these changes, I'm gonna to have to wait. This is not an immediate change, so you may need to take some time away and check every so often if the change has happened. I'm gonna go ahead and wait, and I'll continue the video once this change has gone live. After waiting somewhere between six hours and overnight where you have things you generally remember happened, you can finally see the three locations. So give it time to replicate. I'm serious. Don't just sit there and like expect this change to work in 20 minutes. It'll take a while. So as you can see, this is a, a solid day later and Indianapolis finally shows up in my list. And that is how you add resource accounts to the team's calendar location field.